In this lecture, we will find even and odd components of a signal. Any continuous time signal can be represented as sum of odd and even components. Any continuous time signal can be represented as sum of odd and even components. And by using this property, we will find even and odd components. A general signal is neither even nor odd, but have both even and odd components. Let's say, let's say x t is the continuous time signal. The even component of signal x t is represented by x subscript e t, and the odd component is represented by x subscript o t. This is the even component of signal xt and this is the odd component of signal xt and from this property continuous time signal can be represented as sum of odd and even components so we can write we can write continuous time signal xt equal to even component plus the odd component and let's say this is equation number one. Now we will put t equal to minus t. In equation number one, t equal to minus t means we will perform folding or time reversal in equation number one. And this will give us, this will give us x minus t equal to x e minus t plus x o minus t. x e minus t is equal to x et and x o minus t is equal to minus x o t we have already completed these things in the last lecture so x minus t is equal to x et minus x o t and let's say this equation is equation number two and by using these two equations we will find even component and the odd component of continuous time signal x t to find out even component, we will add equation number 1 and equation number 2. We will add the first equation and the second equation. On the left hand side, we will have xt plus x minus t. And on the right hand side, we will have twice of xet because xot and minus xot will cancel out. So xet the even component is equal to 1 by 2 inside the bracket xt plus x minus t so this is the expression of the even component and by using this we can easily calculate the even component of the signal xt now we will find out the odd component and to do this we will subtract equation number two from equation number one we will subtract the second equation from the first equation and this will give us x t minus x minus t on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have twice of x o t therefore therefore x o t the odd component is equal to one by two inside the bracket x t minus x minus t so this is the expression of the odd component and we can easily calculate the odd component like the even component and these two expressions are very important in the coming presentations we will solve various problems using the expression of even component and the expression of odd component so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section